Hello, so I was bored in band the other day and I decided to do a prompt drawing. And so yeah, for the animal I got anteater, for the object I got earrings, and for the verb I got seizing. So of course I was just like, I, I'll just draw an, a, a burglar anteater who is, who is stealing some earrings. But then I was like, well, I want to be more ambitious, so what should I draw? First I was cat, of, I was like cat, of course. But then as you saw, my friend was like, oh, you should draw a comically large ant. But then I was like, it didn't look right. And also, I don't know, I just didn't, I was like, nah, I'll just draw this little guy. Anyways, so, you know, I'm coloring, you know. <laughs> yeah, wow, like doing the coloring, this is so cool. How, well, my gosh, what do I talk about? Look, there's a little anteater in the corner. Anteaters are surprisingly cute. I never really realized, I'd never really, like, taken a look at an anteater before. Like, I, I knew what they looked like, but, like, I was like, ah. They're surprisingly quite adorable. And this is when I decided to do um, a background. Of course, Octo Bagels. I always, like, for some reason in my, like, stories and work, whenever I have to do, like, a restaurant or, like, something of some sort, I always, like, make it um, with, uh, I make it with, like, octopus. Because I have, like, coffee octopus, which is one of, uh, uh, like, my, whenever I have, like, a coffee place in a store, in a story, or, like, a drawing, it's usually gonna be coffee octopus, just because I created a little, when I was little, um, uh, like, a couple of years ago, uh, me and my sisters created this, um, we made a little store out of cardboard for dolls and stuff like that, and we called it coffee octopus. Uh, also, look at my clever joke, it's auntie's ants, or auntie's ants, I don't know, it, hilarious hilarity ensues guys this is so funny um but yeah i've actually okay so with drawing the background right now i've been really uh i've been really enjoying drawing backgrounds recently i don't know why but it's just very fun um just to like draw all the little details like what's it gonna look like what are these characters where do they live where are they what is this world like it's just entertaining and it's just like you might not see all the details because there are characters in the foreground, but it's fun anyways. Yeah. Also, I realized, and I never got to fix it, that I made the little uh, head in the jewelry store, the little mannequin head, is not... Uh, well, now it's gone. Great. Um, but uh, it's, it's snout is too short. So, you know, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine, guys. I like this little police officer's hat and the little whistle. It's it's very fun. <laughs> That's this funny little hat. He's just wearing a funny little hat. What's he doing with that funny little hat? I don't know. I can't tell you. But um, here we are. On to the background. They're just eating ants. Oh, yeah. I've been using Procreate. And I've like all the little fancy tools are so fun. Like You can't really see it. Well, from, like, like, you'd have to, like, really zoom in, but, like, I used a splattery kind of, like, dots, like a spray paint kind of tool for, like, the ants. I just selected an area and just filled it in, and so that was, that was pretty, it was interesting, because I was like, oh, I wouldn't have imagined that. My, the old program that I used, Krita, it didn't have many brushes, <laughs> so that wasn't very fun. I feel like it had more brushes, but then it didn't. I was like, oh, where'd they all go? <laughs> Uh, where they are they but um yeah also <laughs> as you can see i use this splatter tool a lot for like leaves and stuff someone please take the splatter tool away from me i use it way too much but it looks nice though so yeah <laughs> but yeah i found it works really well for the um door if you like if you put like that certain splatter one on the um wood and then use the paint tool over it not like like the ones where it looks kind of like painting over the um over the wood and it looks really and you can like do it on a separate layer and then lower the opacity a bit or not i don't remember what i did really but something like that and it actually and it looks pretty snazzy so yeah oh. i've been enjoying doing like the very like hard shading and then adding soft shading on top so that's that's been really fun. I find I don't know, maybe it's not good, but I I enjoy that as a I find it's a good um way to just make it look like it stands out. I don't know. But yeah, here is the drawing. Ooh. 
quite happy with it. I think it looks pretty snazzy. Anyways, have a good day. Bye.